part is no one knows how they got here. I thought, well, someone has finally poisoned the birds. Obviously, suspicion and rumor were rife. How could 5,000 blackbirds just fall from the sky? The people of BB needed answers, and they needed them quick. It was time to call in the experts. Karen Rowe is a state ornithologist. She returned home from a New Year party to find her phone full of panicked messages. I called Robbie, and he informed me that there were birds all over BB. The birds are going to hold the answer. If a bird's dead, he's going to tell you why he died. And I said, pick up a variety of birds. If you see different species, pick them up and wear gloves because we don't know what happened. By the morning, Robbie had been joined by a clean-up team kitted out in full hazard suits. Surreal scenes to wake up to, which did little to calm the locals' fears. There were guys in white suits walking around looking like spacemen picking up dead birds. And I'm wondering, do we need the same thing? Because what makes that happen for them just to drop out of the sky like that? But before the scientists could even test the birds, the story had started to take on its own momentum. More questions tonight as to what caused thousands of blackbirds to fall from the sky. You know, there's been several opinions of what happened that night. It was the government, it was aliens, it was the sign of the end of times. I've heard that it was the Lord's doing, that this, is a, this was a punishment and a warning to us, and maybe it was. One online commentator suggests the most likely explanation is that the blackbirds simply collided mid-air with an invisible UFO. So why did they choose this particular year uh, to, to fall out of the sky? The massive amount of public and media attention to this event really heightened our awareness to the fact that we really had to go the extra mile. Rather than relying on just one laboratory, we used three laboratories to conduct the test so that we make sure that all the laboratory tests concurred and there were no possibilities of someone having an unusual result that we might need to further look at. Kevin Keel was one of the pathologists charged with finding the answers. In this case, you know, most of the birds were in, in good nutritional condition and seemed to be uh, fairly healthy, but they did have a lot of traumatic lesions. And this bird that I have here actually has a broken wing. And the birds that we received consistently had lots of hemorrhage in the body cavities. And these things suggest to us that there is a blunt force trauma to the birds. They suggest that they flew into something or that something hit them. With so many birds, it's unlikely that something hit 5,000 of them all at one time. And all of the labs agree.